Ladies and gentlemen, we are just about ready to take off, and I'm just looking at it, and it looks like it's a little windy out there. I see some light dust flying there in the air, light snow. Yeah, well, we already done our walk around, big trip. All we got to do now is back her up a little bit, and make sure that our Tires are not locked up, right? So here we go. Now we're out of here. We got 726 kilometers to our delivery in Winnipeg. Let's start making our way down to uh, Winnipeg. I know it's almost, the sun is almost up. Not quite. Seven o'clock in the morning right now. So we're just taking off real easy. Cause uh, it is pretty cold out there today. The one program said minus 23 and the other one said 17, but I don't believe the 17 thing. I more believe that 23 because that felt really cold out there when I was walking outside. So, uh, so yeah, let's get on down the road and let's see what kind of day we will have today. I did buy me some metal hydrate alcohol there last night, just in case. Just in case we freeze up or something, we can throw that stuff in there and that should probably take care of business. So, uh, yeah, thanks for riding along with me today. If nothing goes wrong, we should make it home today. too hard climbing this hill up here I much rather shift down a little bit take it a little easy here in the morning you know engine is not a hundred percent warm yet right so we just want to work her easy when it's super cold like this it's never a good idea to work her real hard when it's super cold like this I did let her warm up for a good half an hour already but uh, hey I See the gauge is not all the way up yet, so uh, I let her take her easy a little bit here before she's all the way warmed up, you know. Once she's all the way warmed up, then we're good to go, right? But until then, we are just going to take her easy going up hills. Yeah, it's not good for the engine, especially for a diesel engine, working her real hard when a when you just first start her up, you know, that's really bad for the engine. Yeah, so I don't even put her on cruise just yet, you know, just take her nice and easy. But I do see the lake up there, she looks like she's frozen pretty good. Yep, they've been working on this highway here for a good while now too. I don't know if you can see that yet, but uh, right up there, it's already where they got the split. It never used to be like that. It used to be two lane, like you see right here, all the way. And now they are starting to build a highway wider. Now they're starting to build it uh, like a four lane highway. Two lanes each direction, right? But uh, anyways, let's get on down the road. Let's have ourselves a fantastic day. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. 
fantastic day too. It is Friday, I believe it's Friday the 12th, February. And uh, if nothing goes wrong, like I said, we will be home today. And then we'll have the weekend off. So stick around for some barbecue videos. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are still cruising along here. Got a couple of trucks ahead of us there that are going a bit slower than I would like to go, but other than that, we're just cruising right along. Yeah, we got about an hour and three quarters in the books already. Yep, we are only about 18 kilometers away from Uppsala, Ontario. Yeah, as you can see, it's beautiful sunshine out here today. But don't let that sunshine fool you today. It is windy and it is cold out there today. That is for sure very, very cold. Oh yeah. Matter of fact, it's so cold you could probably freeze your ass off. <laughs> yeah, you could probably get frostbites in a matter of minutes probably. And what uh, the temperature currently is minus 28 Celsius. With the windshield, it's minus 37 degrees. Fahrenheit, it equals out at minus 40. It equals out with, uh, with the Celsius. So you know it's almost minus 40 with Fahrenheit too. With the windshield. So it's a cool one out there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But luckily we do have quite a few trees around us. So the wind is not really affecting us too much right now. But I bet as soon as we enter that cold up there in Manitoba, them open fields up there, oh boy, look out then. That wind is gonna come across and Ooh, that's gonna be a cold one up there. That wind is gonna almost want to blow right through the truck. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh well. Part of winter up here in Canada. That's the way it is. Some days are colder than others. It's to be expected up here. Just gotta prepare yourself for those days, that's all. That's right, and what we did last night, oh yeah, look at the snowplow up here, I don't know what he's doing up here, but I guess he's just driving along here and making sure everything is good, I don't see him plowing, I don't see him putting any salt down, I don't really see the need for it anyways, I mean, we got pretty good road conditions, but yeah, other than that, we got 570 kilometers to Winnipeg to our delivery. So that should be about six hours, so maybe six and a quarter. We should be in Winnipeg. Yeah. Let's get on down the road and uh, see what else we'll be able to show you today. Guys, this is not looking good, guys and girls. Looks like we have a bad collision up here. Oh my, look at that, it collided with this pickup up here. There, that is not a good sign. Oh my goodness, sakes alive. I hope those people are okay. Must have happened not that long ago, eh? Probably this morning. Wow, that is crazy. Yikes. That is a serious accident there, that is for sure. I don't wish that on anybody. My goodness. Uh, that happens sometimes, you know. But what can you do, right? It happens, it happens, right? I just saw on the internet there last week another uh, guy had a bad accident there and uh, I believe it was in North Dakota but uh, wow that's crazy that's not a good sign I just 
wish that everybody is okay. That's all you can ask for, right? Accidents do happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are coming into uh, Ride in Ontario. That's right. That's a fairly big city up here. We've been driving for about four hours now, and uh, it's a brand new Tamorza they got up here to the right. Yeah, but I think we're gonna go make us a pit stop up here at the Husky. We need to use the restroom here for a change. After four hours of driving, it's time for a pit stop, <laughs> no matter what. But yeah, I'm kind of getting a little hungry too, so. I might just go in there and grab me a sandwich or something and get on my way again, but uh, Yeah, it's nice and sunny, but Cold I dread going outside the truck, but oh well you Gotta get out That's the way it is Anyways, let's go up there to the Husky and take care of some business. I hope all of you guys have enjoyed my uh, video that was actually released today, which was seven days ago. That was my turkey cooking video. Yeah. I really had a blast that day, that's for sure. I loved it. I love barbecuing anyways, no matter what it is, but... Yep, just coming up here. I don't know if you can see that Canadian flag waving up there. That's where the Husky is at, so... That's where we're gonna be pulling in and making a pit stop. That's right. I was passing a truck there earlier, and he was only doing about... Uh, Maybe 25, 30 miles an hour up there. He was uh, probably frozen up on his diesel filters, probably. That's what I'm thinking that he was doing. That's why he could only go so slow. Let's see who this is. Looks like a FedEx truck, but. Uh, that doesn't look like my buddy there, Ronnie. I know he drives a Volvo too, but it doesn't look like him. Nope, I don't think so. I tried to call him earlier, but he was in a bad reception area, so wasn't able to talk. Wasn't able to talk to him, so. Oh, let's go here to the. Oh, man. There we go. It's a bit of a rough patch going through these fuel islands up here. There we go, we're just going to go park it right there where the trucks are parked and then we'll go inside. Alrighty guys and gals, the uh, scale is open, that's right. I haven't seen this scale open in a good while. Yep, we are in Vermilion Bay, Ontario. So let's go see what they got to say to us today. Let's open our window, so if they say something on the speaker, we can hear them, right? Stop before driving on the scale, alright, well, that's good, we know that. In 200 Most meters, scales have turn it like left that on Canada. Road, Highway 17. Yeah. Way station ahead. There we go, let's get on the scale. Can't really see the numbers over there on the side, but hey, suppose they can. Yeah, he's sitting in there writing something down. Not sure what he's writing down. Let's see. So far it says forward. Turn left on Ray Draper Road. Highway 17. It says forward, so. I'm gonna get out of here. Close the window. Yep. 
so let's go this way. Yeah. Well, that was easy. Just wasted a little bit of our time, but hey, not too bad. Now we just gotta wait till we can get on the highway here, and here we go. That's right. We still have 303 kilometers to go. To our delivery in Winnipeg, so. Go, let's put the hammer down and let's uh, make our way down to Winnipeg. We have 
have made our delivery here in Winnipeg and we got instructed to take our empty trailer back to the yard, our terminal here in uh, Winnipeg. I was kind of hoping I could just bring it back to Steinbuck Yard, but uh, apparently not. So I don't know what they want me to do, if they want me to bring in a uh, loaded load from uh, Winnipeg to Steinbuck or what, but uh, yeah, they're getting me to dr drop this empty in the yard here in Winnipeg, so oh well. I'm going to do that. Adds a few kilometers onto my road, but uh, otherwise I could have just gotten right back out of Winnipeg and gone home, but uh, no, we can't do that. No, we gotta go that way. But we're gonna do it no matter what. Once we're done with that, then we're gonna find out if they got a load to go back home or or if they, what they exactly, what they want me to do, or just bobtail back home or what, but we're going home from there, that's for sure. Yep, that's right. I know we gotta deal with rush hour traffic a little bit. Yeah. It's not as bad as some area, other areas maybe, but uh, still, no matter what, some traffic. That's right. Gotta watch out for these four wheelers sometimes. So, this is where it appears to be uh, going again. I guess the light was red there before, so. Anyways, let's go do this stuff and then we'll see you guys all a little bit later. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have gotten home, sweet home. That's right. Yeah, that was a long day, but uh, we finally managed to get home, and uh, now we're home sweet home for the weekend. Yes, Saturday and Sunday. I know Monday is a holiday over here in Canada, but uh, I'm going to go out on Monday again if they have a load for me at least. So, I figured, well, I uh, will close my show off today. I got to get around to uh, preparing some... Uh, business cards yet and uh, mailing them off I have gotten a few more emails uh, requesting business cards so we will be sure to do that we will send them off here Hopefully by tomorrow all right huh. that goes on <laughs> anyways you all have a good weekend too and stick around for tomorrow because we got some interesting videos coming up oh and by the way we did get a package in the mail I just did that uh, unboxing video of it already so that is gonna be up already here probably uh, tomorrow morning or something like that so um, so you will have already seen what that was all about but uh, thanks there mr. jukebox we appreciate that that's gonna be a very nice selfie stick I'm gonna like that one because the other one was always spinning right and this one won't be spinning on it so that's going to be a very nice setup. So with that being said, everybody have a good weekend. We'll catch you tomorrow. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is going to come.